What I required and what I was unconsciously groping after was a central principle which I could use as a peg to hang my whole life on and a firm resolve to have no other distractions in life. It was no easy job to discover this principle or idea and then consecrate my life to it. My agony could have been terminated or at least considerably mitigated if I had either given in at the outset as so many have done or had with one bold effort of the will fixed on an idea and heroically brushed aside all other allurements. But I would not give in. There was something within which would not let me do so. I had therefore to fight on. Lay down your comforts, your pleasures, your names, fame or position, nay even your lives, and make a bridge of human chain over which millions will cross this ocean of life. Onward, my brave boys, onward and forward to the breach. You are irresistible. One day, by sheer accident, I stumbled upon what turned out to be my greatest help in this crisis. A relative of mine, who was a newcomer to the town, was living next door and I had to visit him. Glancing over his books, I came across the works of Swami Vivekananda. I had hardly turned over a few pages when I realized that here was something which I had been longing for. I borrowed the books from him, brought them home and devoured them. I was thrilled to the marrow of my bones. My headmaster had roused my aesthetic and moral sense, had given a new impetus to my life, but he had not given me an ideal to which I could give my whole being. That. Vivekananda gave me. For days, weeks, months, I pored over his works. His letters, as well as his speeches from Colombo to Almora, replete as they were with practical advice to his countrymen, inspired me most. From this study, I emerged with a vivid idea of the essence of his teachings. Atmano Mokshartham Jagadhitaya for your own salvation and for the service of humanity. That was to be life's goal. Freedom, freedom is the song of the soul. Who will give the world light? Sacrifice in the past has been the law. The earth's bravest and best will have to sacrifice themselves for the good of many, for the welfare of all. Swamiji harmonized East and West, religion and science, past and present. And that is why he is great. Our countrymen have gained unprecedented self-respect, self-confidence and self-assertion from his teaching. Swamiji is our great shelter for the real foundation of our character. How shall I express in words my indebtedness to Swamiji? If he had been alive today, I would have been at his feet. As long as I live, I shall be absolutely loyal and devoted to Swami Vivekananda.